You've got a beautiful four-bedroom country house. Been poking around there as well, have you? <laughs> no, you could rent it out for weekends, family dues, that sort of thing. 500 at least. Then you could get Marlon to cater for it. Get at least half that again. Where would we go? I don't know. Um, upstairs here, if you had to. 20 weekends in a year. Bit of discomfort for all that cash. Got any other ideas? Yeah, loads, actually. But they all belong to Scarlett. She's the one in the driving seat. We both know that's not true. All those mazy types driving the horses around in massive trucks. Yeah? Well, they'll need HGVs, or Class 2s at least. So? So? Someone's got to get them qualified. Why not you? Exploit the resources you've got. Is there a constant stream of ideas running out of you? A posh, totty driving school. You've got the vehicles, the drivers. You could easily train them to teach, but only the good-looking ones. Uh, that's me out, then. Oh, attention seeker. <laughs> no, ripped muscles on publicity shots. The girls would be fighting each other to get in. I could make you millions. Oh, I'll take the shirt off my back. Hiya, honey me. Come on, you, you buy me dinner in the pub. What? Why? It's a bit late. Well, I'm going to be drunk if I don't eat soon. All right, Eve? You look flushed. Oh, yeah, something to do with Holly Barton. Scarlet said anything? No? Anyway, Nicholas kicking off. I'll tell you on the way. Uh, uh, how's that business thing going? It's been a revelation. See ya. Yeah, see ya. Come on, Carl, I'm starving. I'm coming. She ain't come in then. We'd have carried on talking. Or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs>